I'm going to dive into what the carriers need to pay attention to heading into this week. Over here we have the heat map of the outbound tender rejection index. So you see anything in red has a declining value of tender rejections coming out of those markets. You see there's a lot more red on this map than there is green. Green indicates that tender rejections have increased. So increasing tender rejections typically mean that you're going to have a lot more spot market presence. So there are going to be a lot more, as tender rejections go up, you're going to have potential increasing rates over the course of the next few days. So there's very few greens here. You have Terre Haute, Indiana, you have Pittsburgh, and just a few minor disruptions. But there's a lot more declining uh, values in reds on the, uh, on the map than there are greens, indicating the market itself is very soft. Well, what did we see in New Orleans? So New Orleans is the chart that I have pulled up here. We saw an increasing inbound tender rejection rate in New Orleans over the weekend, but they came back down as the uh, hurricane approached. Then they started to come back up as the hurricane made landfall. So what this means is a lot of carriers did not want to go into this area, but volumes were piling up on the shippers docks. Outbound tender rejection rates started to come down as carriers exited the market. Now, looking forward, we should see the impact of the relief efforts really have an impact in the areas, but we didn't see as much of an impact as we would with a major hurricane over the last few days. So looking forward, it's probably only going to be a little bit of re emergency relief management. Uh, don't expect a big disruption to the overall freight market.